Hi, I'm Mark Gordon with GoldenTicker.com. On Tuesday, May the 1st, 2012, wanted to show you uh, how the markets confirmed the new uptrend and when it happened. Uh, we had what's called a follow-through day, and that happened on April the 25th. Now, follow-through day is when the market advances, has a good advance, and in this case, uh, it was a 1.4% advance uh, from the previous close uh, on a big gap here. And 1.4% is not really that uh, huge of a gain as follow-through days go, but it was enough to, uh, you know, to uh, set uh, the new rally into motion. You can see down here that volume was a bit heavier than the day before, uh, so that also factors in. So it was a day of accumulation and a good sizable move. And that was enough to really send uh, send things off uh, uh, in, in back into a rally mode from a correction. Now, we uh, we did have a, a correction uh, back here in the beginning of April, where we had five straight down days. Uh, went from 142.21 down to 135.76, about a four and a half percent correction. Not that big a deal, but um, <clears throat> the markets got into trouble. Saw some heavy volume selling. Um, so uh, that sent the markets into a correction. And this follow-through day came on day 11 of an attempted rally. Now, <clears throat> the first day of an attempted rally is when all you have to do is close higher. That's all you have to do. So that happened here uh, on this day after we set the, the low of 135.76. We, were, we closed higher that day. And what you don't want to do is undercut that low. That will negate uh, the whole rally attempt. So we came back down here and tested uh, on the 23rd of, of April, but didn't quite undercut the low. So this rally attempt was still, uh, uh, you know, in play here. And then when we got our 1.4% gain uh, on a pickup in volume, um, that was enough to send us into rally mode. Now, over on the NASDAQ, on the 25th, we had a huge gain here. It was a 2.5% gain. But that only came on day two of a rally attempt. And uh, what happened is is that um, uh, um, you had a low here at 29.4604, which took out these previous lows here. So uh, this was the, the, the lowest low here. And um, we had a day here <coughs> where um, we didn't make a new low. Uh, the, the low of the day did not undercut that low there. So that was day one. And then on day two, we gapped up 2.5% uh, on a pickup in volume. <clears throat> that was a more sizable gain, but it only came on day two. Now, uh, the rules say that you have to have at least uh, a day four before you can count a follow-through day. So we got the follow-through day on the S&P 500, and we are now in a rally. So that's just a quick lesson on follow-through days. Thanks for listening.